My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can trigger a process when a mail arrives. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will help me a lot. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get all the new UI path tutorials I will post in the coming. With that said, let's get started. We get an Outlook mailbox here with some mails in. And uh, we want to uh, trigger a process, uh, that means that UiPath should run a process when a new mail uh, comes in. So uh, let's build it. We need a flowchart. Like this, and then we'll open it. Then we'll need to get the mail messages from Outlook over in UiPath. So get Outlook mail messages, like this. And then we will open the properties here. The account, that will be the RPA uh, test, clovers, DA. You don't have to um, write this in, but otherwise it will take a default, and now there's only one, so that's quite easy. However, it's always best practice, so we don't get um, another mail account in when we don't want it. So, and here, I will change this to inbox because that's my that's my folder name. If you, you want the inbox, then just uh, leave it as it is. We'll only be getting the un only unread messages because then we know if we get some unread messages, that means that there's a new mail. And we'll just take the last 30, that's okay. We can even uh, take less. And here we will create a mail variable, so control K, we can just call it mails. This one will save the mails in a list. We can see that in the variables here, that we got the variable name in a list of mail messages. That's fine. Now uh, we want a flow decision so we can decide whether um, there we got some uh, new mails here. So drag this in here. We got a true or false. The condition that will just be that uh, mails uh, we can use uh, dot any. That means if there are any mails, or we can use uh, yeah, some other ways to get to Rome. Then we run the a true and a false. Uh, the true is quite easy because that means that uh, we got un unread messages in our mailbox and we can trigger the process, so the process will start. So uh, let me drag in a message box here that could just say, well, we don't want to make a process, but this one is the uh, trigger we can just try. Sorry, like this. And um, and in the false, then we can wait maybe like 10 seconds, five seconds, and then check the mail, check the mail. And so it will just uh, go round and round here. So let us have a delay. Drag in the delay. And the delay, we will write out a VB expression, let's say five seconds, that's probably fine. Or we can, yeah, we can make it as much as we want. And then just uh, do here. So we got this five second delay whenever there's no new ma mail messages, and then it will go up here to uh, Outlook and check again. So we can try to run this, and we will see that nothing is really happening because um, it will just uh, now start. It will just uh, stand and wait for any new mails. However, I can on my mobile phone um, add it. I will send a mail now, and then. Um, Let's see uh, when it arrives here in um, Outlook. I send it it now. It will probably arrive in a couple of seconds, and then um, our trigger will appear. So now it appeared, and your path will probably check in a few seconds, right? And that's the trigger. So that's how to trigger a process when a mail arrives here in Outlook. However, we could also say that we don't want any mail. We could search for maybe the subject or the sender. So um, let us um, read this mail. And then we can just um, simply just uh, change the condition here. So we could, uh, yeah, we could choose the mail still. Then we could write in some link, so where. And then we want a function, an enumerable, so let me just, uh, Get the autocomplete, and then we'll write a function, and then the function will be that uh, the subject. Sorry, the subject contains 
And then we can choose what we want the sharpleg to contain. So say that whenever the sharpleg is triggered to, then we uh, and whenever there is a trigger to mail, let me just get any here like this. Then we will trigger the process. So now we will look for a mail with a subject of trigger two, and when that is here, we uh, will trigger the process. I will try to run it again, and let me get my phone while I talk, and um, I will send it to RPA test here and trigger two. So now I've centered it, and uh, it will be in Outlook in a few seconds, and then UI path will check. I could actually just do the check myself here, maybe. Bit impatient. It's not there yet, but it will come. Now it came, and it will be a few seconds, and then your path will see that the, the sharp deck is a trigger, and then trigger the process. So that's how you trigger a process with a mail in UI path. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and uh, get all the new uh, UI path uh, videos I will make in the coming. That's it for now. Have a good day. Bye bye.